a huge war between healthy foods and junk food. That the junk food is using every part of their bodies to rip off and throw at the healthy foods. The war is bad. Let us begin our tales. I have come to rot your teeth. I have come to make you fat. I have come to destroy student healthiness. We will make you strong and think straight. We want to put more healthy and yummy food into the school. We have come to defend mankind! Meanwhile, two healthy foods are telling each other that it will be okay after the thinkers outside the box DI team did this survey. People would stop eating this bad junk food and start getting healthy by eating us. The thinkers outside the box DI team are awesome because they are the only people trying to help us. And they're doing it by doing an awesome survey. Who are they? You don't know about them? No. Hey, what you talking about? We're talking about what the thinkers outside the box DI team. Mm -hmm. Is that the DI team who's fighting for what, what's right? Us? Yes, I will tell you about him. Once, once upon a time, five kids noticed that their friends and themselves hated the school lunches because they didn't taste good. Also, the schools. And, their, and the schools and the kids' parents want the kids to eat healthier, but the healthy food at school isn't what the kids like, so they aren't eating it. They're throwing it in the trash. The team needed a project and decided to choose just that. So they decided to give all their classmates a survey to see what fruits and vegetables they did like. And they also tried to make the current food yummier. Then they asked themselves the hard question of who should be their community partner. They decided there should be more than one community partner. Their teachers, principals, and food services. The team tallied the survey results and found out that the kids wanted some of the same foods but tastier, like macaroni and cheese or pancakes. Also, if the kids do like healthy foods like carrot, fresh fruit, and broccoli, and the school serve these more, could be happier, healthier, and learn more. This awesome team made a PowerPoint to give to the superintendent of schools, the principals of West Elementary and High Plains schools, and the food service department to learn from the survey and make changes to the school lunches. The DI, the figures of by the box DI team, the principal, the principals, and the food department, the school food department found the results of the survey helpful and useful. Now we better get. Who, her go who spread the good news was that some kids are, are helping us get eaten by, by other kids too. The situation is bad. The junk food army was in the lead. The junk food only lost one soldier the donut. Marshmallow took his place of king of the junk food. Donut was always the stronger, but the marshmallow was more clever by far. He devised a plan to destroy the healthy food once and for all to regain control over the food empire. His plan was to paint members of his army blue to disguise as blueberries and use them as spies. The plan sure went wrong. The healthy food ended up putting blueberries in the marshmallow shooter to shoot up the junk food. The junk food was taken down, but a little bit of cookie, marshmallow, and donut still escaped. The battle between the healthy food and junk food goes on.